everybody, it's Marcy, um, and I am, it's, what today is Thursday? So, today we're going to do one of my favorite recipes, and I will warn you, I had to do some of this ahead of time, just because some of it takes too long. But again, it's really easy, I'll tell you everything we did. Hey, Bets. Um, so, today we're going to do black and blue crostini, except for a couple of things. Again, I don't have crostini, I do have some bread, though that I toasted a little bit, and we'll just make it on bread instead of on the little tiny crostini parts. Okay, so I will tell you what I've done so far. I caramelized some onions. I, it's just one onion. I didn't, I should have made more because my family loves caramelized onions. So I've got caramelized onions. All I did was I put those in with a little bit of olive oil and let them cook slowly for a long time. Put a little everyday blend on it because I, you know I put that on everything. Then I took a flank steak. I was gonna cook it outside, but ugh, if you're not in St. Louis, it is so miserably hot here. The thought of going outside next to the barbecue pit was just horrific. So I just cut up a flank steak and put it on, um, I just grilled it on the uh, in a pan. So I just cooked that and all I did with that was put on a little bit of the everyday blend again. And so really all that's left is to assemble this. And it's it's such a popular thing. Um, and like I said, so easy to do. And if you do like grill a flank steak or a sirloin or something like that and slice it up, then, um, you know, not much cleanup either. So I will show you how we're gonna put this together. It's called black, oh, I keep reaching with that hand and I shouldn't. It's called the black and blue crostini because we are gonna use blue cheese and um, our blackberry chipotle sauce. Um, I guess, think you saw me finish that. Okay, so what do they say on here? Chicken, um, I think that's a grilled cheese and barbecue. So this is, mm, should have opened that before. <laughs> this is another one of our really popular products. So I'm gonna take the, what would normally be crostini, but it's not gonna be, because we don't have crostini. Um, and then take the crostini or the toasted bread, and so easy to do. Now, um, oh, I thought I got the cherry habanero for a second there. <laughs> I had to double check. Um, so all you do is you spread as much as you want. I like it a little thicker, because the flavor of this is so good. Um, spread it on all of those. And I will tell you, this is so good. Um, when I made these for a friend once, it was, um, I made some sandwiches. They had someone in the hospital. I made some sandwiches and I did the honey mustard with turkey and Swiss cheese and this with cheddar cheese. I might not have had the cheese on, I don't remember. With cheddar cheese and roast beef. But man, this with roast beef is so good. Um, okay. So, very easy. And if you want to change up the sauces, you could use the cherry habanero on this. It would be really good. I would think you could even use the balsamic. Um, you could do the honey mustard. I, I don't know why. It's like a weird thing with the red meat. I usually um, like these better, but I've also used the honey mustard as um, a crusting for like a roast, so. Okay, so there's the black part, the blackberry chipotle. And then we're gonna take some of these grilled onions, put a little bit on each one. Like I said, I could have gone for more of these because we love these. Spread it over the whole thing. Let's give this guy a little bit more. Okay, so we've got the blackberry chipotle, the grilled, uh, the caramelized onions, and next we're going to put on some of the flank steak. Now, I will tell you these pieces are sort of big, so I think I'm gonna cut them down a little bit. I don't know if you can see, I've got both dogs hanging around waiting to see if I drop anything. So put a piece or two on each of these. 
Um, if you want to make it more bite sized, you can cut it down even more so that it's not difficult to eat. I always hate when you have something that's like just really almost embarrassing to eat. Okay. With my, I'm sitting here looking. I've got my pampered chef tongs. I've got my Cutco knife. Really, if you guys could support um, people who have their own business, it's a great thing. So when I see my Cutco knives, I think of my Cutco person. And when I see my pampered chef, I think of my pampered chef people. Okay, and you can do this to whatever doneness you prefer. Mm, let's do one more little piece on there. Let's get a really little piece. Okay, now like I said, imagine this on Cristini, so it's a much smaller piece. And then we're gonna put on a little bit of blue cheese. And there's the blue part. So we've got black and blue. And then just a little bit of garnish. And if you have people who don't like blue cheese, like my daughters are not huge fans, you can do feta. Feta would be really good on this too. Okay. And where did, oh, there it is. The last thing, I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of freeze dried cheese, just to give it a little, if you have green onions, you could do this too. And there you go. That's done. This actually will end, I'll make the rest of it and this will end up being dinner. But uh, very easy recipe. Let me take you back to me. Um, very easy recipe, like most of them are. You know, if you're worried about going out to restaurants still, you're right, it would be black and white then. Sort of like you could serve black and white cookies then too, Betsy. <laughs> Um, so if you're worried about going out to restaurants or, um, you know, not quite ready to go back out there yet, cooking at home is, um, I mean, hopefully I'm showing you all these easy things you can be making. Uh, not a lot of work. Definitely saves you time because you don't have to go and wait and all of that. Definitely saves you money. Um, I mean, if I buy, uh, even like a tenderloin steak, at the grocery store it's way cheaper than when you go out to buy or the salmon or whatever you like um and our products like i said they ship right to the store. and you can see how little of this i even used on them because when you have cocoa as an ingredient it go it uh, is a natural flavor enhancer and the flavor goes much farther so you've got that it's also healthy because with cocoa being the natural flavor enhancer there's less salt, sugar, and fat in most of our products than um, in our products than most other things out there. Plus, you can personalize it. You know, how many of you have been with somebody, anybody who goes out to eat with me, where they like have to change everything at the restaurant? <laughs> okay, when you're at home, if it doesn't like these, you switch it up. If somebody doesn't like the chives on it, you leave them off. It's so easy, and like I said, saves you time, money. Um, healthier it's not boring our products bring such flavors that you would never even think of having um, because we've got these three fabulous chefs who come up with great products for it um, so that's it for today I'm going to maybe go and try one of these right now but if you know anybody who's um, interested in doing a virtual I can do like a uh, talk them through cooking class. If you and some of your friends want to join in on that, that would be fun. Um, also, if you know anyone who's looking to earn some extra money, um, I got to tell you, this is so much fun, my job, what I'm doing. And uh, we have a free call tonight where you can find out information. Message me, or maybe I'll just put up the information about it. Um, you can sign on the call. And, oh, I don't have one with me. You can win one of our chocolate bar libraries which is five large bars of different flavors that are fabulous so if you have any questions or want like detailed recipes send me a note let me know and thanks for watching be kind to one another